Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And if you feel that the camera on your Mac is not of good enough quality to be used for video calls and you would like to use your iPhone as a webcam for video calls, FaceTime calls, Skype, Microsoft Teams, whatever you want to do, well, we are going to show you in this video how you can use your iPhone as a webcam on your Mac using the latest feature of continuity camera which Apple added with Mac OS Ventura. So without any further delay, let us get down to business. Now do note that the video is divided into chapters and you can find those links in the description of this video. Let us first talk about the requirements which are needed for you to use your iPhone as a webcam on your Mac. So for starters, your iOS needs to be iOS 16 or later and for the macOS version it needs to be macOS Ventura or later. Then there are certain features like Studio Lite which require iPhone 12 or later. We'll talk more about this later in this video. Then there are certain other additional requirements as well. So for starters your iPhone and Mac must be signed in with the same Apple ID using two-factor authentication. Your iPhone and Mac must be near each other and you should have your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on on both the iPhone and the Mac. Another thing is that you should not be using your iPhone as a Wi-Fi hotspot and similarly your Mac should also not be sharing its internet connection. If you want to use your continuity camera wirelessly, and that is what we're going to do in this video, then the Mac should not be using either AirPlay or Sidecar. Next thing we need to do is we need to enable this option of continuity camera, which will finally let you use your iPhone as a webcam on your Mac. So to do that on your iPhone you need to go into settings then you will go into general then you will go into airplay and handoff and make sure that the toggle for continuity camera is enabled now a pro tip over here is that if you do these steps of enabling the continuity camera while your phone is near your Mac you are going to get a pop-up which will ask you to use your iPhone as a webcam and in case you've already done these steps, all you have to do is toggle the option of continuity camera off and then turn it back on. And as long as your iPhone and your Mac are close by, you are going to get this pop-up of using your iPhone as a webcam. And then all you need to do is select continue and you are good to go. Now, once this is done, how do you test it out so again make sure that your iPhone is near your Mac and then we can go into applications and open the photo booth application as soon as your phone is being detected as a camera you'll get a notification on your phone telling you that it is connected to your Mac and then in this application itself so in photo booth if I go into camera you will see I have two options. So I have the FaceTime camera, which right now is disabled because I'm using an external monitor, but you also have the iPhone camera available and you can always switch over to this option. And then it is going to start using your iPhone as a webcam on your Mac using the continuity camera feature. Now, similarly, if you want to place a FaceTime call from your Mac. You open the FaceTime app and then if you go into video here and you will notice that you can choose between the default camera on your Mac or you can use the iPhone camera and the same thing applies for your microphone as well. You can use the system setting, the iPhone microphone or your internal microphone. Then if you want to use the video effects which are offered by your iPhone's camera, you have to go to the control center on your Mac and here it is. I'm going to select this option and then go into video effects and bam, there it is. You can see that I have the option of center stage, portrait mode, studio light and desk view. Now do note that based on your iPhone, you might not get all these options. So center stage requires iPhone 11 or later and it excludes the iPhone SE. Similarly, portrait mode requires iPhone XR or later. 
studio light feature requires iphone 12 or later and desk view requires iphone 11 or later excluding the iphone se you can also go into the control center go into mic mode and choose between two different options so you can use voice isolation which is going to give priority to your voice and minimize the sounds around you then you can also use wide spectrum which is going to capture your voice as well as the sound around you so for me this option is disabled right now because i am using a microphone here to screen record on my mac and of course you do not want to be holding your iphone while you're using it as a webcam on your mac so there are mounts available on amazon which use the mac safe capabilities to keep it as stable as possible and relieving you of the duties of holding your iphone while you are using it as a webcam on your mac using the continuity camera feature another question which i might get is hey what if i get a call on my iphone while it is being used as a webcam well you're going to get a notification on your mac and you'll also get a silent notification on your iphone you can answer the call either from your iphone or from your mac but do note that your current video call or the video session is going to be paused and once you are off the call then you can resume with your video call or video session which was paused and there it is peeps that is how you use your iphone as a webcam on your mac using the continuity camera feature which is available with mac os ventura and of course you do need to be on ios 16 as well